YouTube, what the Shogun 2 crap is going on? Air of Carthage here. I forgot to move my microphone though. Better get it up closer to me. Sorry, probably made a lot of noise on your end, even though I was trying to gently move the microphone. Uh, welcome back to the Shogun 2 uh, Takeda campaign. Uh, we're going to pick up just from the last episode. Takeda Shingen won his second battle and has ranked up here. Let's see, we can get plus one to the Daimyo's Honor or plus ten to Diplomatic Relations. I'm going to take the Daimyo's Honor. It actually translates to Diplomatic Relations too, potentially. And now I need to remember what I like as far as upgrading my general. So this one improves the rate at which Bushido Arts are mastered all the way up to 12%, which is not bad. Loyalty if a general... Honor if a daimyo, and if we get two to honor, that would be pretty spectacular. Converts the project uh, province. Well, we're not super worried about the religious effects unless we're going through like eco iki lands. This instills fear in enemy units, reduces morale, repression. Let's see what other ones we got down here. So stand and fight is right here at level four, and that's pretty handy. But it's directly under this tree, so we don't have to unlock other stuff to get to it. Enables Wedge, and this one's kind of like a melee general over here, I believe. This one besieged. Okay. Um, we're going to start with Strategist, and we have to get to level 3 to be able to unlock anything else. This basically gives us more campaign movement range if I go to the next level. Yeah, let's do that. Alright. So Shingen's already 26 years old. Hopefully he'll uh, live a nice long life here so that we can get him to actually be the, um, the Shogun. Let's see what we got trained down here on that last turn. Do you need these light cavalry? And then I trained up here on the next turn. I should get another unit of uh, Bo Ashikaru. Okay. Now someone pointed out that I probably should have gone after Hojo Lan. That's a pretty good point. They have a gold mine down there. And to be quite honest, if the um, once we uh, knock out this faction up here, I may very well consider going down there. They also... There's a library here in Imagawa territory, which would be very helpful. Some very important land down here, so we will have to consider getting a hold of it sooner rather than later. But uh, we'll we'll kind of gauge what the best way is to do that. Um, let's go ahead and end a turn here. The Oda have already expanded to several provinces, it looks like, including one nearby me. Those guys are going to take off running. We need to hunt them down. And let's see. Let's take this army. These guys will probably run away. No, they actually stood. Let's get rid of those guys. Get back here to the castle. So our troops are retraining, which is good. They're retraining quite slowly, and we need to get the enemy... Um, Castle North Shinano is going to be upset, though, in the uh, absence of Takeda Shingen. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and uh, wait to upgrade that castle. Let's go ahead and end the turn here. I may have to cut off the taxes at uh, North Shinano to see if we can slow down any potential... Rebellion. It's because there's probably still resistance to invaders there. The Satomi declaring war on me. They are already at war with the Yosegi. Um, not going to worry about calling my allies to help. Not necessary. Let's see. The Tatomi. Ikoiki. Where are these guys that just declared war on me? Satomi, is it these guys? Yeah, it's those guys down there at Musashi. Musashi is actually a pretty lucrative province. So it's not going to hurt me at all to get a hold of Musashi. Uh, Hida is going to be an easy take at this point. Uh, so let's go ahead and get it. 
peacefully occupy. <coughs> Repair what's here. They do have an archery dojo, but I do not need an archery dojo clear up there. Uh, North Shinano is going to calm down, which is which is pretty good for me. Though I need to uh, be able to get ready to take a shot at Musashi. Uh, I don't have a ton of money, but if we quickly capture Musashi, it would help us uh, get even more. So it might be worthwhile who we can get to Kadiyari Cavalry already. Upkeep on units like that is going to be quite expensive. So for the most part, we're going to want to stick to Samashigaru for the moment, rather than extending ourselves too far with the units that we cannot afford. Let's see, we're three turns. Superior wood acquired, that's good. That'll help us with trade and other buildings and stuff like that. We destroyed the, uh, the clan that we were at war with. I can't pronounce it. Imagine that. Big surprise. Clan that just declared war on me did not make any moves into my province, which is good for me. I do not need another general because I don't want to pay the uh, extra money right now. Capture a province belonging to the Satomi, and we get aggressive ardor, which is plus two to melee attack. Not a huge boost. Can't say that it's really got me excited or anything. Let's see stables, archery dojo. Encampment market would be nice, but we have to have Way of the Chi. I do need Nemetsuke. Uh, what else can we do? Lumber yards. We need to be able to upgrade our farms and other buildings as well. I'm going to wait until I can build a market after researching Way of Chi. It's only four turns away. Won't hurt me too bad to just wait till then. Uh, let's see. We're going to need plenty of spearmen. Just go ahead and keep recruiting those. It's going to take us several turns to get the units we need. I'm going to actually start recruiting some... Uh, so the Hojo have attacked the Imagawa. Oh, we'll enter on the side of our ally. I don't think the Hojo have what it takes to take me out, but with the, with the Satomi and the Hojo after us at once, potentially it could be bad. Uh... That looks like the Hattori have already rolled over into Mino, attacking the Oda. The Hattori out to a strong start. That could be potentially dangerous for me. Let me get a couple of these bow units trained up. I'm uh, not worried about this one unit coming in there. Let's take a look at the diplomacy real quick. Let's see how the Hattori... They are indifferent towards me. An unexpected meeting may with hindsight. Uh, that is good, actually. Speak. And Their enemies are the Ikoiki and the Oda, but I am a trade partner with the Oda. But hopefully, this means that um, their relationship with me is is cordial. Um, that would be best. It says they're still indifferent towards me, but at least we're trading with them. Maybe that'll slow them down from wanting to attack me. Let's see. Iko Iki, Uesegi. Yeah, we don't really want to be at war with these guys right now either, and they are also at war with the Satomi. And since we have so many wars in the south, this would be a really odd thing to accomplish, but we kind of share a common enemy. So um, if we can get a trade agreement with these guys, and then I wonder, uh, I wonder if they're interested in an alliance. Let's see. We could offer them a hostage, <laughs> which is my son, actually, at this point. I wonder if that would get their attention. <laughs> That's pretty risky of me to do, though, because then I give up my heir. Um, let's see if maybe they're interested in money. They do not seem to be interested in money. What if I offer you military access? and money. No. 
So they are not in any desirable position as far as granting me any form of alliance, which means that we could have quite a few enemies here pretty quick. Should be interesting. Yeah, the U Uesegi have a pretty considerable army up there too. I don't know if it's anything good. Looks like the Oda are about to strike back against the Uesegi, or against the Hattori. They're going to be flush with Ashigaru, no doubt. Okay, so I got my Takeda Bow Cavalry. Trade with the Oda has been disrupted, and it has hurt me, along with the upkeep from the new horsemen. We need to start researching the way of the Chi and get to the upgraded farms. Boost temple. Plus two. Okay. I'm training a lot of troops as well. Which is going to take its toll on my income. Um, so for now though, I'm just going to have to stick to these cheaper troops. Let's see, six Yariash. I've got three bowmen coming over there. Let's get two more here. And then uh, we're going to need at least a couple of units of light cav. More would be preferable. Crank out as many as I can here and not break the bank. I'm going to blow through a few turns here. Just I need a, I need a good solid army while I have the excess money, even though it's going to eat away at my income. We can use those armies to to grab some more income. Looks like the Oda just flattened out a Hattori, but that's good. The two of them should keep each other busy, I hope. Keeping one from becoming too powerful. Imagawa are moving forward into some lands that I wish that I owned. Trade disrupted with the Hattori as well, so we just took a blow to our income right there. That is definitely bad. Ooh, yeah, that that is not good. Because we can no longer trade with the Hitori. Yeah, it's a bit of a rough situation there. I uh, do not know if my upkeep costs can sustain such a thing here. One more turn I can build a market that will help a little bit. It won't help a lot, but it'll it'll help a little. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, end another turn. Got some agents in our lands here. The Eco Iki now declaring war on me. Holy smokes. People are just gonna bring the house here. So we're going to have to leave Takeda in the north. Um, Shingen, that is. Man, it's going to get rough. Market here. Then we can get a Metsuke out. And let's go ahead and uh, spend the money on the sawmills. We are going to be very, very low on income. And somewhat weak when it comes to troops. Got this shinobi. Let's use this shuriken there. Subterfuge in the field. Unsuccessful. Where's assassination? Subterfuge when assassinating here. Yeah, let's go down that line. Let's see. We are at war with the Hojo. Let's see if our uh, ninja can pull off an assassination. It's relatively low cost, so might as well try it. I missed these videos. They were a lot of fun. Is this the one where he's going to be stepping on the, the guy who's having the naughty dreams? Let's see.
Okay, so our assassination failed. But we'll be alright. I am trying to train just a couple more cav units. We'll see if my uh, income can sustain it. We are running on rock bottom, though I do have a couple of buildings coming up um, that may help. Let's see. I want these three bowmen down here to uh, Kai. Let's see what we can get in the turn here. No idea what the eco Iki are gonna do. We might oughta We might oughta lash out at them and hit them at Etchu or something, Kaga, uh, before they just come and hit me with overwhelming force. And then really feel like we need to so the Hojo are all in against me too. Uh, getting a hold of Izu would be a huge benefit to me, and Sagami has a, an armor as well. So lots of benefits for taking certain spots. So here is Takeda's brother. We've got plenty of bows, plenty of Ashigaru. We've got enough troops to get the job done here, but it's going to leave Kai pretty much unguarded. Which is going to be a risk. And I have no money for anything else in the meantime, so things are going to get a little bit dicey. Looks like the Isegi pushed south. We need to get moving before they surround us and take away our opportunity to hit our enemies. So let's move quickly on Musashi and see if we can get to it and take it. Accidentally left a couple of cav units here. Let's bring them up to this army. Okay. North Shinano, he does one turn away from getting that extra building and the five turns from the extra sawmill. The sawmill should be helpful to some extent. We can upgrade our farm soon. Should be good. Oh, we can trade uh, train Metsukes when we get that done too. We'll train a Metsuke as well. The Hojo won a peace treaty, but they're asking me for money. That's completely unacceptable. Here comes the Iko Iki. Uh, they're going to attack me. They've got a bunch of Lone Sword Ashigaru. Actually kind of dangerous to me here. And uh, quite a few bows as well. Those Lone Sword Ashigaru could potentially be problematic, but we'll, uh, we should be able to take care of this. I forgot the Iko Iki have access to the Lone Sword. It's actually a pretty handy unit in the early game. Iko Iki tend to have larger numbers. Um, slightly higher morale, and um, but like lesser stats in general, if I remember right. And they don't have access to the standard samurai troops that other factions do. Uh, you can hire some ronin and other stuff, but yeah, they're they're a very different faction. All right, we're gonna have to be good here. In order to win this, has a lot of lone swords. We're going to need to shoot them up pretty substantially before they get into combat. Uh, we have a couple of decent units for melee, but uh, that, I mean, like I said, that, that's a lot of lone swords that we're going to have to take out. I could potentially use my light cavalry to good effect here. Start the battle. Okay, let's take a quick look see and see where most of the lone swords are coming from the bows I am less concerned about and their Yari Ashigaru I'm less concerned about bow Ashigaru both um, so there's two of the lone swords right there and two more lone swords over there so what we need to do is uh, probably just get as many we need to be able to get as many bow shots as possible on those lone swords over there and we're gonna need to be able to get a ton of shots on these guys over here too oh I have an idea actually I don't know if this will work but it's an idea I wonder if I can use my cavalry to continually lead 
the uh, Iko Iki troops on a boneheaded chase around the outside of my fort where my archers can shoot them to death. Certainly worth a try. My general's not going to want to stay on this side. Nor are these spears, because there's a lot of bows approaching from that side. Okay. Let's try this. Might actually be able to get some good kills on a downhill charge with this light cav. Give it a shot real quick. Only took a couple losses and we did bust up those lone swords pretty bad. And now they should take the bait and start following me uh, to where, my, yeah, my bows are getting good shots now. Yeah, it's quite a bit of lone sword, Eshigaru. Let's just keep these guys' attention over here. And if those bows want to get me, they're going to have to climb the wall. What do we have over here? That was just the Yari Ashigaru, so no, no big challenge. Let's again see if we can just get the attention of their units over here. And keep them chasing. There we go. I think we got their attention. Yeah, my bows are getting a considerable number of kills. We want them to use all of their ammo, even if possible, so this little strategy is working out for now. Those guys are going to get shredded up pretty bad. They are making it to the wall, though, unfortunately. Let's see if we can... Uh... We're going to have to get that unit off the wall away from these guys. Where's my Yari Sam? Let's charge this unit to keep it from climbing the wall. The Iko Iki captain is in the unit that's climbing the wall. That rear charge hurt that Lone Sword Ashigaru pretty bad. But I'm having to pull out here and probably going to take some losses. My Yari Sam ought to beat down that Lone Sword Ashigaru without too much issue. Let's, we're going to see if all the Yari Ashigaru chase me, so got Yari Ashigaru, Bo Ashigaru that just climbed the walls there. Let's get this guy out of here, get my general over here, get some Yari Ashigaru over here, maybe some samurai retainers. Okay, we beat back one lone sword Ashigaru. Got that Bo Ashigaru. And we got my Samurai Retainers here. Sorry, I can't get you any close-ups just yet. I gotta keep controlling my troops well. Let's lure those Lone Swords over here to these bows. Get away from those swords. There we go. Now we're in business. We got a lot of the Iko Iki uh, Bo Ashigaru here. And a lot of their Yari Ashigaru. So I think we have this battle under control. I'm going to pull these guys over here. Try and get you some close-ups on the action. So my guy is taking out some Iko Iki. Um, don't waste your arrows, please. Go off, fire at will. Yeah, Samurai Retainers and other troops able to easily push the Iko Iki back over here. And these bows are going to continue to light up these uh, Lone Sword Ashigaru who are wavering. We can now put these guys back on fire at will. I'm going to act like I'm going to charge these guys, but it's really just to hold their attention. Over here, this Iko Iki Yari Ashigaru are getting destroyed. There we go. Yeah, the bows are, bows are doing a spectacular job, getting me a lot of kills. By themselves, they've killed a couple of hundred Iko Iki troops. I mean, look, these guys are just getting lit up. Not really, because I don't have flaming arrows yet, but you can see that we're causing a considerable amount of damage. Yeah, the AI being absolutely stupid here. 
And uh, this is always something you can take advantage of, of course. My cavalry are very tired, but no doubt the Iko Iki infantry are very tired as well. Ooh, we got some uh, Iko Iki who are trying to crawl the walls. Just keep these guys in bow range so that we can continually bump, uh, hit them. Definitely don't have any intention of fighting that Yuri Ashigaru. Let's go over here and hide in the woods. Yeah, look at these lone swords. This is what I'm talking about. This is exactly what I wanted right here. You can see arrows flying down from the castle walls. Peppering the lone swords. Our general is in grave danger, my lord. My general? Holy. What is that? Oh, it's a bow, Ashigaru. Our general can handle it, then. The Yari Samurai here. <laughs> Look at that, I went and hid my cavalry, and the computer's like, Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot what we were chasing. Um, so, Takeda Shingen himself. Gonna get a few kills here. Alright, so I would say that was a pretty successful battle there. We're going to take relatively few losses. This might be the opportunity for us to uh, push on the Iko Iki since they threw an army at us and failed. Um, so it'll be a good chance to push back. We're going to have to be pretty aggressive here, I think, to secure our foothold because we have no money where we're at. And turtling up really isn't going to get us any money any quicker uh, because we've got to get some research done. And we need to get more land so we have access to keep trading with people. As long as our trade is blocked, we're in bad shape, too. So Shingen increases in rank once again. Um, we're going to execute him. Be some hardcore... Uh, hardcore uh, beliefs here. Ah, uh, The Satake took over the province that I wanted. <laughs> that I'm not real happy about that, actually. I'd really like to... Gosh darn it. Stupid Satake got in my way. I mean, it's good because they're getting an enemy out of my way, but at the same time, like, those lands down there are valuable, and I would have liked to have had them. Let's see, though, diplomacy-wise. These guys are indifferent to me. They are allied with the Uesegi. They are enemies with my enemies. I should try to be friendly with them right now. listen attentively, and then... I mean, it only makes sense. There is all. I wonder if I could buy military access off of them. Um, Satomi. I have better things. No, no, no not the Satomi. Where did they go? The Satake. Uh, military Speak, access. And I will listen. If I can help. Five turns. I will try to do so. And I'll make you a little payment here. Um, 500 maybe? Okay. Um, if 500's enough, how about 300? <laughs> 200 actually, that works. No, um, probably they won't take it. Payments, let's try 300, or no, not 3,000, 300. Oh, come on! You guys are driving one tough bargain here. 400. You turds. Let's make the proposal. See if we can get the military access. Okay, so we got military access for five turns. Let's uh, make a run for Sagami as quick as we can get there and uh, take control of some uh, and I'd love to get the Izu that would really be my goal there's a gold mine there okay so Shingen has ranked up again and we were wanting to get to this stand and fight which really we just have to get to the uh, the next level but let's see what else that we can obtain at a level 3. Proves the rate at which the Bushido arts are mastered. Enables wedge formation on cavalry. Command during ambushes. Yeah, I don't see any of this other stuff being particularly useful. I'll take the extra campaign movement range. 
And I honestly might just save that skill point and put it all under infantry leader. So I think that's what I'm going to do. We'll just leave the skill point there uh, until we rank up again. Let's take this army and quickly crush uh, what's left of these guys. It's giving them far better chances than they deserve. And if I auto-resolve this, I'm going to have to spend a lot of time recouping my losses. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to go ahead and take the time to fight this battle, even though it's relatively insignificant. I can't afford to give up that many losses to the auto-resolve. AI is going to try and camp probably on that hill, potentially in the forest there. But if we just get our Yari and spear wall and try and use our archers, the AI will probably attack us. So we'll see what we can do here. Alright, let's see if we can not fight in the nasty rain. There we go. I, we're gonna see if they go for that hill. I'm gonna put my Yari Ashigaru up front. My bow's right behind him. Make sure that they let me do the targeting. Uh, let's actually just go two units there, two units there. Oh, I got a Yari Samurai too. Let's put him on the side with my general. Uh, rush to the hill because I think the AI is going to rush to the hill. I'm going to fast forward for a minute. My guys are going to get pretty tired getting up here, but if we get up here first, it should be worthwhile. I'm going to go ahead and open fire on their Boeshigaru. They're going to get first shots. It's going to do some damage to my uh, Yari Ashigaru. Let's start moving up this side. Okay, my Bo Ashigaru returning fire. Go ahead and get into a Yari wall here. Let's get ready to outflank over here. Let's keep pushing up the hill. My guys are going to be pretty tired, but should be in good shape. They're going to come straight onto the front of my Yari wall here. I'm going to quickly rear charge these uh, Lone Sword Ashigaru. They're not going to have the morale to withstand something like this. So yeah, you can see them already breaking there. Very beautiful fighting. Absolutely love it. Uh, take out that Yari Ashigaru. Let's actually retarget the next Yari Ashigaru down here. Okay. The Iko Iki are breaking apart relatively easy now. Let's target here, make sure we're not shooting too near to our own troops. And let's. Pull all these guys off. Alright, so I think that went very well. We took almost no losses there using the Yari Wall, the quick rear charge, concentrating bow fire, just using our troops more efficiently than the uh, Iko Iki. Plus, we have a, a general for our troops, and they just had a captain. But like I said, the auto resolve would have given them way more kills than they deserved there, and we only lost 72 men and uh, wiped out the uh, enemy invaders. So we'll take that. I don't have much of an army here with uh, Shingen, but I can't afford a whole lot else uh, in this army. So we're going to have to be quite careful. Let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, end another turn here. Did I upgrade a castle at one of these? I did. And I ended up building the Yari drill, drill Yard so we can actually train Yari Cab. I just can't afford any of them at the moment. Um, I am out of time for this turn. On the next turn, we'll make a run on Sagami. So this turn, we managed to capture Hida. On the next one, we're going to see if we can reach out and uh, knock out Etchu and Kaga. 
Um, it's going to be tricky because we have to split up a little bit, uh, but if we can, it will be very, very worthwhile. For now, we have like kind of a temporary peace with the Uesegi, um, but you can see the Uesegi have gained some pretty significant steam, and so have the uh, Satake. So, uh, Takeda definitely not in a good place to turtle up. Uh, you're going to have to reach out quickly and make your presence known because you can see that the clans around us are expanding quickly. And if we do nothing, we're going to find ourselves in quite a lot of trouble. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade those post roads. Air of Carthage, signing off for now. Hope you all enjoyed it.